Well, he hello again. Tonight, we're gonna go ahead on, we're gonna make our purple hull peas. These are some delicious peas. A lot of people call them black eyed peas, but they are purple hull peas. They have a different taste. Very, very good, a very good Southern dish. I remember uh, as a, a little girl picking those, picking these out at the garden. Very good peas. And so basically, very simple recipe. Put about three cups of water. I have the chicken bouillon cubes as my flavor. Whenever I'm using chicken bouillon cubes, I do not use salt. So I'm gonna place two in there. And all with peas, as well as any type of vegetables that you wanna cook and have an extra flavor, I usually cook it with ham. And so I have some ham. And because it's a, the peas, I really like the, the ham to kind of cook really good. So that way, while the ham is cooking in the peas, it can separate itself. So I've got bigger chunks of ham in this one. And then we have our peas. These are uh, 12 ounces by Pig Sweet Farms. And so uh, very good, good uh, peas. Uh, 12 ounces. And so we're gonna go ahead on and open up these peas. Again, these are frozen, frozen peas. So again, don't let it fool you. This too is a crock pot recipe. So you can cook, put these on, let them cook overnight, which I am going to. I'm gonna let them cook on low overnight. And tomorrow morning, I'm gonna get up and my peas are gonna be done. I can drop that temperature down to warm. And we're gonna put these in the crock pot and they're done. That's simple preparation. You don't have to watch them. Just let the crock pot do the slow cooking and you're gonna wake up to some delicious uh, peas in the morning. Remember, we used the frozen uh, purple hull peas on last night. They slow cook perfectly. Uh, cook this morning, I taste that pea liquor. That's what we used to call it in the South. Pea liquor uh, out of that, and it was so good. I felt like giving me a bowl of peas early this morning, y'all, and, and enjoying that. So uh, so those, those those things do work. Uh, remember, the only thing you did was take the frozen vegetables, add, add, your, add, add the seasoning to it, let it cook overnight and you enjoy. God bless you and thank you so much. Enjoy your food.